Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohi and today I'm going to start a new series called Jmeter. So um, today we'll first understand that what is the Jmeter and then why we need the Jmeter. Because Jmeter is a kind of tools that help us to uh, do the load testing and the performance testing. So first we'll understand that what is Jmeter and why we should use that. So if you see my documentation, what is the Jmeter and why we should use that? The Jmeter or the Apache Jmeter. Basically, this Jmeter is uh, built by Apache. Um, so this Ap Apache Jmeter application is an open source software. So, so this Apache Jmeter is an open source uh, software. It means that this does not need any licensing. So it's a license free software and it does not need any cost for the license. So this application designed to load test functional behavior and measure performance. So basically this Jmeter is used to do a load testing and then performance testing in our system. So Jmeter is a Java application. So as Jmeter is a Java application, we can install this Jmeter to any of this platform like Windows, we can install this application to the Mac or the Linux application. Only thing we need to do the install the Java. So it was originally designed for the testing web application, but has since expand to other test functionality. Basically, the Jmeter was initially designed to test the web application, but as it's got popular, it is used to do for other testing also. So we'll discuss that why um, I mean what is the advantage of this Jmeter. So if I go back to this advantage of the Jmeter, Jmeter have a lot of advantages. So if you see here in this diagram, there are various uh, advantage of this Jmeter. First thing first, it's open source because it's a uh, license free. It's a, um, GU, a user friendly GUI. It have a simulation process. It have a multi-thread. So a lot of benefits we have in the Jmeter. So if you go actually the Jmeter uh, website, so this is the Jmeter website and that's how it looks like that. So it's a very simple uh, application based on the Java, but it's very useful. Basically, initially it was designed for uh, test that ap uh, application, but now we can do that web service application, we can do the FTP, we can uh, do the database testing, we can check the mailbox uh, testing, TCP and other object we can do using this Jmeter. Now we'll understand that how this Jmeter works. So if you see here how the Jmeter works, Jmeter is the application of Java based software which create the threads or the user. So these are the user and then they are the test user. So you created or you put the input that how many user you needed and then based on this your um, input it will create the dummy or thread user and it will actually load or it will put that thread or the it will create a request on that particular application so it will be create one it will actually like a um, dummy user who is going to visit this website and then whatever response that website will be returned it will be show and represent in a structural way so basically using this geometer we can create some dummy user and the dummy user will actually do a uh, create a load for a particular application and then whatever load will get that will uh, show into a uh, tabular format. So that's how the Jmeter works. Now we'll talk about that. How can we install the Jmeter? So very first thing, uh, I, I'll go to the installation process. So to install the Jmeter, very first point is that you need to be installed the Java. Without Java installation, Jmeter cannot be worked. As I mentioned earlier, the Jmeter is built on the Java program. So that's the first step of that uh, installation of the Jmeter. As I mentioned also, the Java the Jmeter can be installed on the Windows, Mac or Linux or any other uh, software. So far, first thing is that you need to be uh, required to install the Java. And secondly, if you open this uh, link or maybe uh, if you directly search on that Apache Jmeter, you will get that download releases here. Under this download releases, you will get these options called Apache Jmeter 5.5, which is running now the version of that. And it requires the Java 8 plus 1 version. And then you have the options called binary and sources. So this is basically the different type of um, resources from where you can get that. And then each uh, binary or each sources have a kind of file or the links you can see. So you can click any of these 
everything are uh, pretty much similar but try to use that binary one because source have um, and some source doesn't have this uh, file so if you click this binary file or any of this link it will land you to the another page and then it will start downloading this file so you can see this is start downloading this file once this file is downloaded you just need to be unzip this file and then you know to open the bin folder and if you are using that uh, windows system so simply you need to run this batch file so if you are win if you are running the windows file unzip that downloaded file and open the bin folder and there should be a um, bat file which is called um, geometer you just need to be done that that is a simple process otherwise for mac user you need to unzip this um, file and then you need to go to the bin folder under the bin folder you have to right click and there will be options called new terminal at folder basically once you do that it will be open these um, uh, your terminal like that and you can see that it will be under the bin folder so you can see so the folder will be open under bin i mean this mac uh, this terminal will be open under this bin folder and then you need to then you need to run this code called shis space jmeter.sh which will help you to run this jmeter.sh file and then it will be open the jmeter so it is a little bit different but for uh, understand that for Windows, you need to run the bat file. For Mac, we need to run that jmeter.sh file. So that's it. Once you open this, uh, um, those files, the jmeter application will be open and it will be uh, in our next session, we'll talk about that how we can set up our steps. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.